Hello, 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 and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. A kid whose sister was one of the filmmakers who disappeared in the woods near Perkinsville, Maryland back in 1999 enlists some friends to help him traipse on back into those same woods to retrace her steps 16 years later. Along the way, they meet up with a pair of sketchy emo kids who claim to know the way. This being the year 2016, they've got way better equipment, including walkie-talkies, GPS, head-mounted cameras, even a drone. So what could possibly go wrong? The Blair Witch, which is technically a sequel, but feels more like a reboot, is directed by the very talented Adam Wingard, who also directed The Superb, You're Next, and The Guest, both of which felt fresh and original. The problem with Blair Witch, and the reason I can't quite recommend it, is that despite the obvious attempts to revitalize the material and deepen the mythology, this film is too committed to replicating the Blair Witch Project, the film that birthed the found footage horror genre and became a phenomenon in the summer of 1999. This new version has a lot of the same flaws of the original and manages to add a few new ones because it doesn't have novelty or originality on its side this time around. That's it for the capsule review. Let's get in depth. Call it a sequel. Call it a remake. Heck, call it The Woods, which is what the filmmakers sneakily called it in all of the pre-release marketing before revealing suddenly at Comic-Con this year that it was actually a Blair Witch movie. I actually think this was a brilliant marketing move, dropping its true title only a couple of months before release, kind of like 10 Cloverfield Lane did earlier this year. Anyway, whatever you call it, you can sum up The Blair Witch like this. It's just like the first one, only more so. And I mean, just like it. Now this isn't The Force Awakens giving us new versions of Tatooine and the Death Star, just calling them by different names. I'm talking about the exact same story beats and taking place in the exact same places. Only this time, everything is bigger, for better and for worse. For example, as the first one had a small group of three filmmakers, this new version doubles the cast to six, starting with four young and incredibly naive people and adding two weirdos who insist on coming along. And those weirdos who create the majority of the human conflict are some of the shiftiest looking morons you've ever seen. So transparent in their untrustworthiness that it makes the other characters look that much stupider for allowing them to even tag along. That brings me to the next thing that's bigger here, the performances. Whereas the first film had dialogue that was largely improvised between believable characters, which had the same names as the actors portraying them for added realism, this group of kids are clearly reading from a script and over-emoting to the point where, in some takes, you get the sense the actors are just this shy of breaking character, like <coughs> like a guest host on SNL trying desperately to make it through a sketch, all while saying dialogue like, there's lots of legends about what goes on in these here woods. <coughs> Now here's one thing that's bigger, and it's actually welcome, the mythology. Now attempts were made here, however clumsy, to deepen the legend of the Blair Witch. The rules of the strange magic that takes place in those woods. There's some bizarre, icky creature work here that doesn't quite add up to much, but still gave me the heebie-jeebies. And on the whole, the Blair Witch herself does not end up being an altogether compelling villain, but I did appreciate the attempts to at least feed us something new, and got really excited when it looked like they were about to introduce a major fantastical twist that changed the nature of the reality of the characters in a major way, but then the movie just sort of backed off in favor of more jump scares and blurry motion and screaming and overacting and ah! Did I mention the extremely high fake jump scare to legitimate danger jump scare ratio? It's unreal here. Now, nobody I know, nobody that you know would ever approach your friend at night in the woods without making a single sound and then grab them by the shoulder and shout, hey, at them. Here, it happens every five seconds. That is, once you get near the end, as with most found footage movies, starting with the original, it takes a really, really long time for anything scary to happen, and then it's mostly a bunch of blurs and screams until we get to the finale. Now this finale, it's bigger too. The same almost to a T as the last time, but longer, more drawn out, just overall bigger. It takes you to new locations, but leaves you in the same place. It teases new meaning, new strategies, new rules, but leaves you without much to show for it in the end. The first film let the boring stretches in the beginning slowly give way to an overall sense of dread until its simple and haunting finale, but it had originality on its side. We had no idea where it was going the whole time. With the Blair Witch, you absolutely know, without a shadow of a doubt, from the very beginning, where it's going to end up and you will be checking your watch the whole time until you get there. Small bag of popcorn for The Blair Witch, a film by a talented director with clearly ambitious goals that gets lost somewhere along the way. That does it for this edition of Movies That Pop. Don't forget to follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter, at Movies That Pop. 
and click the icon right down there to visit our channel. You'll be able to view all of our other videos, and more importantly, while you're there, click subscribe so you can keep up with all of our episodes, and so we can keep doing what we do. Please leave your comments about the Blair Witch below, tell me what you thought about it, and click the thumbs up if you like what you heard. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel, and shh, shh, shh. Did you hear that? Did you hear that?